Well, right now, a business professor at John Carroll University is 1,800 miles away in a Central American village that really captured his heart many years ago. He touched down this past Friday along with four JCU students to rebuild an elementary school that was crumbling. And I learned today it was a promise that's getting support from people all across Northeast Ohio. Dr. David Clifford is in the trenches this week in the south central part of Honduras. Drinking lots of water and uh, just trying to make a difference for these kids. Excavating, laying footers, all to rebuild a one-room school that teachers could no longer teach in because of its deterioration. It was clearly a, you know, a place that they needed to fix. Um, and when I was down here in November, she was showing it to me and I said, all right, we got this. The work grueling. So we literally had to take pickup trucks and buckets to the river to get the water that we needed to make the cement. But rewarding. David told me he has been coming to Honduras for a decade to teach entrepreneurship and has seen obstacles that the children face. The new 30 by 40 foot building will give the Flora Azul Village School space to separate younger and older students a place to learn and build dreams. I fell in love with the people and the communities and you just saw so much need down here that you can't unsee what you see. David's nonprofit for the greater good raised about $10,000 to buy tools, supplies and hire local labor and four JCU students decided on their own to travel with the nonprofit to assist. I was planting seeds and there's these four guys that are down here are all ready to come back again next time, and we haven't even left yet. I think he's awesome, and he's really an inspiration to me. Zachariah Zolads is one of David's students who couldn't make the trip, but donated to the Honduras Rebuild. I just love helping people. I think we need more of that in this world. And he wasn't the only one. The entire class, which was given an assignment to develop an idea to support any charity of their choice, decided to support their teacher and the project. John Carroll is all about giving back, and I love that. Zacharias told me his idea launched the LLC Cleveland Pretzel Company, and through sales he was able to give $400. I had to go bake late nights, come to school, set everything up but it was, it was fun. I'm told the students raised about two grand with more money coming from JCU alumni and others across Northeast Ohio. David's humbled by everyone's generosity and says construction should be finished by the end of the week. Saw this and I said, you know, I can, I can look the other way and say, I don't have time for this. Or I can say this is here and I can take this and I have the ability to do this. And David's nonprofit for the greater good is still raising money to buy supplies for the new school, items like desks and whiteboards. I'll put all that information for you on news5cleveland.com.